Hi, my name is Uben Alves, I'm from Robot Ignite Academy, and in today's video I'm going to see how to publish a position of a robot using the Transform Broadcaster. For that, let's open here our ROS for Beginners path and launch this ROS, uh, this TF ROS course. Um, there are many ways of publishing a position of a given robot, but we are going to use Python, so let's create a Python package here. Let's wait until the shell loads. Almost there. Okay, here we have it. Let's enter on our catkin workspace on the source folder and create a package. So, catkin, create a package, tutorial, raspy. Our package is called tutorial and it depends on the package uh, raspy. On the source folder, let's create here a file called mybroadcaster python file and let's make it executable so okay here we have our file let's open here on the ide and increase the font size so you can see it better okay given that it is a python file let's use rb and python in order to use the broadcaster we have to import it so from tf import transform broadcaster since you are using Python, we have to import Rospy. We also will we need the time. So from Rospy import time. If the name uh, equals main, then we call a main function that you are going to define right now. Okay, so def main. In this function, we first need to, in to initialize our node. So Let's call it my broadcaster. Let's create here the broadcaster, transform broadcaster. And this broadcaster, we have to call this send transform. There is a function called send transform. Uh, yeah, this one here. Okay, in this function, we need four parameters translation, rotation. Let's just copy them here and create it. Okay created in some variables here with the same name. Translation, if you sh check in here on this function, is a tuple, tuple, and the transformation as well, the translation and the rotation. So let's create here um, three values, uh, zero, let's put zero values here, and the rotation is also tuple, <laughs> but with four values, so let's, okay. These other parameters we are going to define here. So, first we send the translation, rotation, and the next parameter is the time. Let's just put time now. The child parameter we have here the child and the parent. Let's suppose we have a robot called Ignite. So, Ignite robot is our child um, child frame that has as a parent the world frame. If we just uh, publish this, we, the message is going to be published once. But let's suppose we want to publish the message, the position of a robot constantly. So while not Rospy is shut down, we publish this position. And we want to publish the message five times per second. So we create here a rate. Uh, 5 uh, which is 5 hertz and we sleep here rate sleep uh, if you just publish it if you just run right now my broadcaster and we open RVs ROS run RVs RVs and we also open our graphical interface uh, we should have here RVs, and here we have it. Let's uh, let's maximize it, and let's add here. Change the fixed frame to world because uh, we are using the world. If you remember, and uh, let's also add here ATF. Okay, here we already have the ignite robot, but it's uh, in a single position. It's always in the same position. Let's change here the position and this translation. Let's get here some variables x, y equals zero and uh, 
if x is less than 2 no if l x uh, bigger than 2 then we define x and y equals 0 and 0 and let's increase this value uh, in every iteration so, so not w i mean x so x plus equals 0 0.1 and y plus equals 0 0.1 if we stop our node and execute it again on our tf publisher you should see the robot moving but of course if you update our translation so translation equals x y and let's put here zero the z is always the same value so let's run our broadcaster again and here on the interface and on the graphical interface you should see that the robot is moving as you can see here no so uh, this in this way we are publishing the position of a given robot in this case we are calling ignite robot and uh, we are not using any robot of course but if you wanted to know how to publish a position of a real robot like this one here on the simulation in this uh, course tf ros 101 you will see all the details so i hope you liked the video if so please give us a thumbs up and you can also subscribe to our channel and press the bell for a new video every single day thanks for watching